I'm Robert from Manhattan Wood Project. It's time to start my entry into Dominic Bender's tree challenge. So I have my section of tree here and it's time to make something that I think is going to be a lot of fun. I hope. Or it'll go badly. Either way, hopefully it'll make a good video. So what should I make today? Manhattan Wood Project. That looks great! So I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. Maybe I'll be able to tell once I cut into it. So let the fun begin! Well, whatever it is, it is some heavy stuff. Pretty dense. And, uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of rings in there. So, this should be fun. This should be perfect for what I want. Based on my hand, I want this to be about 37, 38 inches long. So, let's see. I'll just go straight like this. I'll take it out at the 38. After taking a closer look at the bark and looking online, I'm thinking that this might be ash. This may be part of a big branch I cut off of our ash trees in back a few years back. Or it could just be something I pulled out of a dumpster a couple years ago. I don't know. Yeah, you know, that's fun, that's fine work, but I have a lot more of this to take off and that's going way too slow. Maybe it just needs some 80 grit persuasion. This works okay. The 80 grit sandpaper works okay, but it's still really slow. Let's see if I can speed this process up. This is either a great idea or a horrible idea. We'll see. keep the shape of it all generally the curves so I'm hoping that by doing this it's just kind of gonna go along the grain lines and I'll have the general shape but just smaller now that I think is the ticket alternating back and forth between the chisel that I'm afraid to whack on and this one. All right, now just a few more hours of that. The sucker's pretty much down to size now. Now it's time to just do some final cleanup and shaping. So I think I'll be using the belt sander for this.
And now the moment of truth. I'm going to put a little Danish oil on the shillelagh. Normally they're black. I believe the uh, process used to coat them is putting, is soaking them with butter basically and then sticking them in a chimney in a, or a fireplace or something for a couple hours. I'm not going to do that. I like this ash. I think it's going to turn out fantastic. Oh good lord, look at that. I think it's going to look beautiful. And I don't want to hide any of that grain. No, that figure. Three or four more coats of this, and uh, it'll be ready for whacking some someone or something. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. It's done, and it's a beauty, a bonnie, and a joy forever. I'm looking forward to using this thing for many years. It's nice and comfortable. But now, I want to try it out on something. And not just walking. It's a shillelagh, it's beating stick. I want to beat something with it. So, trying to figure out what I can beat with it. Honey, when's the next time we're going to the zoo? Honey, when's the next time Anna's boyfriend is coming over? Honey, when's the next time we're going camping with my brother? <coughs> Honey, when do you think the neighbors are going to let their dogs out? <coughs> Honey, when's the next time we're going to the park? <coughs> Honey, when's the next time dad's bringing his dog down? <coughs> Honey, when's the next time we're going up into the mountains? <coughs> Honey, when's the next time we're going for a walk past that place with the dogs? <coughs> you know the place where they the dogs jump up on the fence? <coughs> Honey, what do we have that I can beat with this? Still good. Would you look at this mess? This is now all kinds of dirty. I think we need to clean it up. Just in case somebody hasn't been offended by this, let me tell you a little story. So my mate and I were out practicing our bollocksology when we came across a chancer acting the maggot. He took a swing, I took a swing, and I won. We started laying boots until this guy looked like a blind cobbler's thumb, then we took off. What a gas! Did you like this video? Let me know by sharing it, giving me a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, and leaving a comment down below. Also, take a few minutes to visit my website, manhattanwoodproject.com, follow me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter.